Ooh, what are we getting into today? Okay, okay, okay. What's this? What we got? Oh, we got some of that liquid gold. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about gold, right? Ooh, about to do some tender TLC. We even got a, actually it can't be tender TLC because the T in tender, or the T in TLC is tender, whatever. <laughs> we even got the, we're gonna do a little intake work today. Okay then. Hell yeah. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope y'all are having an awesome day today. Today is Friday. I feel good. We're about to do some maintenance on the coming, some routine maintenance. Not, not, nothing broke, nothing. Hopefully, not yet. Um, but yeah, we're here today, so we're about to do some stuff, man. So, we got some good stuff going on today, y'all. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. If you can, and if you don't mind, smash the thumb up, thumbs up button. It helps out so much. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, so that way every time I upload, you get notified of my new content, okay? So, today is going to be a very simple, short, straight front to the day. We are doing an oil change in conjunction with something else, in conjunction with air filter cleaning, okay? Uh, now, you're probably wondering, well, what's so special about this video? Like, there's tons of these out there already. Yes, there is. That is 100% correct. But, there's one thing you might want to do before you go to change your oil, okay? And I got it right here. Golden ticket, okay? What we're going to be doing is, when I go to drain my oil, I'm going to actually be taking a oil sample in this little container, and I'm going to be sending it off to a company called Oil Analyzer to get my oil tested. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why are you draining the used oil? Like, it's old. Like, why do you care about that? Here's why. This oil right now has almost, 10, actually it has a little over 10,000 miles on it, which is fine. It's within the specs. All that stuff's good, okay? But the reason why I'm testing it, and the reason why you want to test your oil is because you want to see what's going on with your engine on a normal routine, okay? If you change your oil and 500 miles later, 1,000 miles later, you, put, you, do, you do an oil sample, you're not really going to get a true reflection of how your engine is, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? All the contamination, all of the, you know, coolant, anything mixing with your oil, you're going to see it, but not see it true to life. By 10,000 miles on on a, on an oil, you should be, by then, you should be able to see everything. You should be able to know if there's an issue, if, you're, if your engine's healthy, okay? All that good stuff, okay? I actually highly recommend you guys doing oil analysis. You don't have to do every oil change, but maybe every other oil change. The kits are cheap. It's like 30 bucks on their website. They send you a kit. It's everything is needed and on top of that if you want to get the sample the pump and the hose to you know suck the oil out from the uh dipstick you can get that as well too okay now we have that we have some amsoil products you guys know i run amsoil so here we have amsoil signature series max duty protection 15w40 yes i run 15w40 on my truck some people like to run 5w40 uh some people might do a middleman 1030 Cummins recommends 15W40. That's what they recommend for the oil film thickness or the viscosity of it for this engine. That's what I stick with. Um, some cats up north where it's really cold run 5W40 because it's a little thinner, so it helps it out on dry starts, which is 100% fine. It makes sense. People run 5W40 thousands, hundreds of thousands of miles, no issue. My personal preference, Cummins recommends 15W40. That's what I'm sticking with. Here where I'm at, it doesn't get cold enough to where it justifies needing a thinner, lighter weight. Okay, now with that comes a trade-off. So by running the thinner weight oil, you'll get the protection in terms of dry starts and stuff like that. It'll be a little easier for the oil to, you know, flow, but it's a thinner weight. Thinner weight oil usually means it comes with the sacrifice of not having the same film thickness as compared to a, a thicker weight or a heavier weight, such as a 15W40. Okay, something people don't consider is but well, what is the engine made for? Okay, so when they make these engines, they have tolerances, they have clearances, bearing clearances, journal bearing clearances, all that type of stuff that comes into effect. And this, the engineers say, okay, we're going to run this way oil because this is the best weighted oil for this engine in all conditions. It's able to lubricate all our bearings, it's able to maintain good viscosity, keeps heat down, all that stuff. So I like to stick with what they recommend, okay? So we have that. Now, if you're probably wondering, well, didn't you run marine diesel oil grade last time? Yes, I did. Um, my Amsoil dealer, Adrian, okay? Adrian is my Amsoil man. He can get you this. He can get you the oil sample kit. He can get you anything oil-related Amsoil products at a discounted rate if you mention me, everything diesel, okay? Uh, I wanted to test this out, so I was talking with him. He was telling me that for what I have, my setup, high horsepower setup, you know, or heavy-duty setup in terms of, like, towing and stuff, you can't beat Signature Series. This is the top dog, creme de la creme, okay? On the back, 
it tells you. So you get six time wear protection, and on the back, you get three times. See if I can get y'all in there on that. You get three times OEM recommendations not to exceed, exceed 60,000 miles, 600 hours, or one year, whichever comes first. You guys, there's <laughs> so normal intervals for this truck is 7,500 miles. 7,500 times three. I think I did the math earlier. It's like 18, I think it's like, oh no, it's like 22, 23,000 miles. That is a lot of driving on a single oil change in order to get, you know, what you want out of it. So with that, I'm going to really be keeping my eye open to see if we can get that, okay? So we got the truck is warmed up. I just got back from driving. She's ready to pull or ready to drain. So I got all my stuff set up. <clears throat> drain pan oil filter wrench and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead and get set up and start draining the oil so i can change the oil okay you guys and then i'm gonna get back with y'all all right you guys so i got y'all underneath the truck i got the drain pan underneath i don't know if you guys can see it or not but what i got y'all looking at here you guys gotta get this man i'm telling you it makes oil changes clean easy and so much enjoyable so what we have here i have a easy drain valve um it's no different than your famudo drain valves so another thing i forgot to mention if you want if you order from Adrian, he has an oil package where you get the oil. He can do a year oil package and include a drain valve and two filters for a really good price, you guys. I will have his information down below so you can contact him. So first thing we're going to do is drain the oil so that way I can get my oil sample. Okay? So I'm going to take the lid off. It's very important. You don't get any contaminants inside your bottle. That way it doesn't give you a false reading. Take off my little protector cap right here. Get that out the way. And then all I got to do is just push this tab down. And then let it drain. If I can, my finger can work. There we go. The easiest, cleanest way to drain your oil, you guys, I'm telling you. Okay. Got that done, no mess. I got a little bit on the outside because my hand moved, but super simple, you guys. Let me give this oil a sniff. Oh yeah, that's diesel oil right there. I can't wait to get the results back on it to see how it looks. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, I already took the oil cap off my truck up top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drain the rest of this engine oil. Let that do its thing. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow around and make a mess or anything, but we should be good. So, once again, make sure it's positioned. And just let that drain out. And now my oil is draining, as you can see. The Fumudo drain valve makes it super clean, very easy to drain. Yup, I mean, this looks like regular oil. I spilled a little bit. I didn't have the pan squared up all the way. That was my fault. So, but yeah, she's draining. So gonna let her do her thing it does drain a little bit slower than normally having the you know just a regular plug on there but i mean look at my hand my freaking hands clean compared to uh you know struggling trying to try and do all that other stuff so we're gonna let this drain while this is draining um i'm gonna go ahead and pop the air filter off and get this up here and i'm gonna get this boxed up okay you guys so what i was talking about with the oil sample so we already have our oil sample right here uh the oil kit comes with everything needed you don't have to even shipping is included so right here it comes with a prepaid ups label so all you gotta do is just uh drop that off to a local ups place and then over here it comes with uh your card information all you gotta do is fill out when you send this off fill out this portion of the card and they include a template in terms of how to fill it out it's really simple you guys it comes with everything you want now what i was saying was if you don't have a drain valve which i highly recommend you get but if you don't have one they also sell a oil pump kit so all you do is take some of the hose and put it inserted through here and you can take the oil sample through your dipstick um one thing i forgot to mention too is when it comes to your oil samples i highly recommend taking the sample within 15 minutes of shutting your truck down the reason being is because that is when the oil is going to be i guess you could say the most accurate hot oil samples okay uh cold oil samples can the, the values can be off a little bit uh the reason why you take it hot is because it's just it's good habit long story short um i can't think of the exact reason why but definitely i recommend taking it when it's still warm 
You're probably wondering, well, won't it be cold by the time it gets to them? Yes, it will be, but just do it. <laughs> so we got the oil draining. Um, I don't know if it's still draining or not. Yep, she's still draining. That little skinny line right there. Oh, it just farted. Oh, God. What happened? So we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and pop this air filter off because we will be cleaning this air filter out today. Get that all cleaned up. So I'm going to take that off right now. All right, so oil samples all ready. Got the prepaid tag on it. Samples in the bag. Got the paper filled out with all the info. So we should be getting the results back. This is two-day shipping, so uh, we should be getting this back within the middle of next week, hopefully. Uh, and we'll have results. I will review this on the channel with y'all, show you what we're working with uh, running Amazon Oil. So it's always good to see if you're getting your money's worth, all right? All right, you guys. So went ahead and took off the old oil filter. I mean, there's really nothing to show there. Uh, what I got now is the new signature series, uh, 15W40, brand new Amazon oil filter. This is a synthetic media filter. It's good for 20 microns. I can't even read that. What does that say? 20. <laughs> it's good for 99% efficiency at 20 microns. That is the key is the 20 microns versus the 30 or 40 microns. Okay. Microns basically is the unit of measurement at the micron level. All right, so I'm gonna add roughly a quart of oil to this filter just to kind of help her out, pre-fill it so it's not a dry filter. So just go ahead and pour some down up in there. Okay. Some people will argue, oh, you can't pour it in the middle because that's the return. I'm just like, whatever. It all ends up somewhere eventually, so. Uh, see where I'm at right now. So about half a quart. That's good enough for me for now. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and go back underneath the truck, reinstall this new filter. I'll just take a little bit of this oil from here, put it on the O-ring, that way it's not dry, like that. And then what I like to do is I will get underneath, this is the easiest way for me, I get underneath the front of the truck and then I screw it on there and then I reach in from the side and I just snug it up with the filter wrench. Nothing crazy, just a little bit. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and put this. All right, you guys. Now we are about to do my favorite part of every oil change. Oh, I got to hop up here. Now it's time to add some Earl. Got that 15W. Topper off. Now I already added two gallons, or yeah, I already added two gallons, so this is the last one just to save time. You know what I'm saying? So we trucking along, we added the oil now. Next thing we're gonna do, oh, one second. Okay, all right. Had to give the UPS man the oil packet. All right. well, now a lot of people don't notice, but with AirDog filters, you don't have to pre-fill them, okay? Sometimes, oh man. Ooh, that sucker tight. She's coming. Wow. That was unnecessarily tight. Man, that sucker was on. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm getting off. Okay, so after some technical difficulties, I actually really, I just had to use two hands to loosen the water filter. I drained the water filter and then I went ahead and unspun it. So we are good now, like such. So we'll take that off. It's hard to tell what's in there. Oh wow. There's definitely some nasty stuff in there because it looks, I can see orange at the bottom. One second, get you guys in here and see if y'all can see this when I pour it into the bucket. Yep, right there. I don't know if you saw it, it's rust or something. I don't know, but this filter's working because that was in the bottom. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can get y'all to see that stuff. Wow. You guys see that? It's like, I got the sun behind me too, so. Yeah, there you go. You see that stuff in there? Check that out. Oh, wow. Well, I would assume this filter is doing its job. Um, because the truck's been running fine. Haven't any issues with the truck, so. I guess that's good. Uh -huh. That is some nasty stuff, so I'm glad I'm changing these now. So, brand new water filter. All you gotta do is spin it on. You don't have to have the pump running and all that craziness making a mess. Air dog instructions straight up say spin it on. Uh, when you change the filters, they technically they tell you to clamp the line so it's not leaking, but I don't think we have to worry about that. What I like to do is I'll just turn the key forward, let the pump run, and then once the pump stops running, I'll uh, start her up and I've never had an issue doing it that way. So that, give me a little rag. Just so I can get a better grip because I got diesel. I got diesel all on my hand. You don't have to tighten these up crazy hard either. Just something nice and simple. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with this side. I touched this earlier. And this is, man, this is good maintenance right here. Like, I love doing routine maintenance like this on my truck just because I, I feel like I'm contributing in terms of it running better. Um, so... Anytime I can do something to keep my truck running good and happy, because I don't know how long I intend to keep this truck. I want to say for a good minute, but, um, yeah. Hell yeah. She's on there. Fuel filters. Water filter is changed. So, I've got that wrapped up. Alright, you guys. So, I finished, um, the filters instead of waiting. I figured instead of waiting for letting letting y'all you know see the filter and all that stuff, I figure I'll end the video here. You guys get the gist of what I did. Um, biggest thing I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video though was the oil samples. Okay, oil samples are really good, and we, when I get the results back, I'm going to show you guys it on film so that way you guys know and can see the importance of having uh, an oil analysis kit and taking oil samples on your truck. It's a really good investment. It's a really good thing, especially if you're trying to keep your truck for the long haul. You know what I'm saying? So. When I get that in, make a video on that, talk about that. They email you the results so it takes no time. Once they receive it, the same day, sometimes, if not the next day, you'll have results back. So the last thing I'm going to do for y'all, any oil change, after you finish changing oil, always start the truck up to make sure she just cranks up. I know she ain't got no oil, no air filter on there. Yes, you can start the truck without an air filter. So crank her up real quick. Filters, first time starting with the empty filters, so yeah, she's fine. Can't, I was trying to see if I can get y'all in there to see the turbo spinning, but it's too dark. And you, well, not too dark, but just, it's too deep in there. You can't really see it, but yeah, she's good. Yes, sir. Got good oil pressure. Brand new oil. Go ahead and I'm gonna reset my little mileage. I use this to track how many miles I have on a current oil chain. So let's go ahead and uh, reset back to zero. Starting brand new, okay? And another thing I like to do, you guys, I don't know if you guys have this, but I do this. Um, I have a little tracker 
just turn the truck off. I have a little tracker here. Um, I keep all my maintenance in here. So you can see, you know, brake job. I started back in 2019, uh, August or April. I got all stuff here. Rotating tires. When I put certain things on, you see here I put a deep dish pan on at 175. You know, stuff like that. Um, you know, alignment oil change coolant change oil change these two are new i gotta add fuel filter down here because i wasn't i wasn't planning to change the fuel filters but i don't remember the last time i did i think uh let's see if i have it here no not that that was for another video so the last time i changed the filters was at 175,000 miles so that must have been like last probably around spring April ish so these filters are good uh, air dog says for about 15,000 miles I believe so we were right uh, yeah we we're a little almost at 15k about 13 14 so change the filters just on time uh, I'm pretty religious I actually I'm really religious when it comes to my maintenance on my truck uh, this is one thing I don't play around with because like I say all the time y'all this is an expensive investment and uh, to you know neglect it you know the, the myth of oh it's a diesel all right you guys so my camera died and i had to wait for the camera to charge just to film the outro so like i was saying some people say oh it's a diesel it can go for a million miles well yeah it goes with a million miles if you take care of the truck that's all i was trying to say and but my camera died all right so we're done here today wrapping it up thank you guys so much for checking out the channel checking out the video if you enjoyed it if there's anything i missed or did not talk about by all means drop it down in the comments Love to hear what you guys got to say. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Next thing I'm going to do, I don't know. So if you guys want to see a certain video, we got the little baby air filter back there drying. If you guys want to see a video on me talking about anything, by all means, comment down below. And I'm more than happy, more than willing to make that happen for you guys. So once again, thank you guys so much. And until next time, y'all take care. Be safe and peace out.